What's up weirdos? Have some self-respect. Have some self-worth. The people that we're looking at today don't have any self-respect or they have a little bit too much self-respect. It's hard to really judge. Actually, no, it's not because we can just look at them and then judge. We'll look at these situations with empathy because here's the thing. These people are hated. We're about to go look at some people who nobody is on their side. But I don't want to just pile on. If somebody is in the right, we're going to be here and we're going to stand strong and say they're in the right. But when you're on the internet and everybody's calling you a main character and not in like a like a cute way, I'm going to be honest, very rarely are you in the right. You might know this girl from every summer camp. She's literally wearing the outfit that every single girl wears at a summer camp. Or every single freshman girl wears their second semester at uni. And I'm just going to say, hey, all you girls who are in your second semester at uni, you are the world's strongest soldiers. Because not only are you struggling with all your finals right now, you're also dealing with the fact that your new college friends and your high school friends that you keep in touch with over Instagram, all for some reason have a very stressful love life while you sit alone single and sad. What am I talking about? Oh, that's right. Every woman's experience because I'm every woman. Who sings that? Get on it. You're following me around to the trash can. No, I haven't. I've been watching recording. I'll back in. And of course I Minding my own I'm business. Hey, what? You're a weirdo. Okay, she's very upset about something. She's very upset about something. And and shouldn't we all feel bad for her? That's wild. Just go up to somebody and just hit them while they're recording you. What are you doing? That's her boyfriend right there with his flip flops and the demeanor of knowing that his girlfriend is in the wrong. I was not like, I'm like, like, I don't know. I listen, I don't know. All we know in the context of this clip is that apparently bro was just sitting there and she thought that he was like staring at her or something and then had a, had a problem with that. I'm going to say the demeanor of her boyfriend. <laughs> Uh, babe, uh, babe. That is the vibe of a man who knows that his girlfriend is in the wrong and doesn't like know what he's doing. <laughs> I have seen that face so many times. Now I have to call the police. You, know you can go inside. No, I'm what? sitting in my fucking stoop, buddy. What? You're gonna what? <laughs> what is going on? She's literally screaming after hitting this guy that she's gonna kill him. <laughs> and her boyfriend, oh, oh, come on, man. Could you just not, babe, babe, oh, come on. <laughs> He's like a little sad sack of, we'll get there, soy, a sad sack of soy. And I don't want to, you know, listen, listen, listen. We're not going to call beta. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think it's nice, you know, to do, but the thing is, he's being very, yeah. Uh, sir, could, uh, please, could you, uh, please, uh, babe, uh, if, uh, uh, babe. Assert yourself, young man. You have hair on your chin. Be, be a man? I'm not going to say that, but be a, just be a person, assert yourself. She's asserting herself. A little bit too much if you ask me. What is going on? What, what is she, she doing? She doesn't like you. She feels very harassed by you. What is she doing? I feel very harassed by you. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? You got a freaking weapon? What are you doing? Listen, I know that it's supposed to be about her, like she's supposed to be the bad guy here, but all I can think about is her boyfriend right here. She just, she feels like you're harassing her. Uh, babe, please stop. Uh, he is acting like I feel when I'm in a dream. Just unable to affect any change at all, but in the center of everything. Walking around in his flip-flops, literally doing the Michael Jackson voice. Uh, yeah, babe, uh, it's okay, just go in there. She just feels harassed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's about to start eating. <laughs> that was an ugly voice. No, babe. Quit. Quit. That's embarrassing. I'm sorry. That's embarrassing. She smacks her own door out of frustration and then sprints at him like a Call of Duty zombie. That sounded like I'm not a gamer. Guys, I am a gamer. I am. I know how to play video games. My favorite map in Call of Duty is hijacked. I swear. But literally this run and then has to slam the door because I mean, I would be afraid for my life at that point. And then he's about to open it back up. She's like, no, close it. No, close it, close it. All I'm going to say is bro who does not assert himself. I think there's a reason he does not assert himself. Because if that is how she deals with conflict, I would be terrified. <laughs> now, of course, if you look in the comments of this video on Reddit, you get some very Reddit man responses. I'm sorry, but if she struck me on my front step, she's getting knocked down. End of you should be able to defend yourself to a certain extent. But really, are you afraid for your life in that situation? I don't think that you need to go attacking this woman like physically if you're in that situation. Now, when she was running at him with the door, the thing is just close the door and get out of the situation. You don't need to initiate the violence. Well, she is initiating it, but that, but like, if you can diffuse, diffuse, always diffuse. Bomb has been diffused. <laughs> 
ceasefire. It's almost like if there is one event that really, really hurts, like him getting punched, you shouldn't then have an overwhelming violent response if there is the opportunity to stop it. You know what I mean? But here on Reddit, there's a different understanding of how to deal with conflict. Do not get me wrong here, but sometimes you really need to punch someone in the face for self-defense purposes. This is one example where this is justified. I don't know if I'd do that. But also, if you go to the guy who posted this video, like his YouTube channel, you can see like the extended cut where you get to see the sad boyfriend just sitting over there, sad. <laughs> oh, you didn't hit my truck, did you? No, I'm staying away. Yes, ma'am. Whoa. Poor guy, like he's literally just holding a brooch. She's going, give me that. He's like, oh, okay, she yanks it out of him. He says, oh God, relax. And then she says, shut the F up. That man, brother, you gotta run. I'm sorry, you gotta run. But here's the point of why I show this. This guy also posts this. And the caption is, good morning neighbors. Now, the thing is, you can see he posted this before these ones. Listen, I don't know the, I don't know the actual timeline of when he filmed this. This guy doesn't seem like he's got his head on straight either. What's the point of that video? Good morning, neighbors. And then just shooting the dirt? I'd say I'd leave him alone because I don't like that. Let me get the face. Thank you. Okay, I'm weirdo. just recording you because I don't know what you're doing all I'm this for. I'm not doing anything. What is a little girl going to do to you? Nothing. I just don't know you're what's going on with weirdo. you. I've had shit on you for months. You're a weirdo. Okay. Yeah, okay, so the context is that he was taking out the trash and then she just started following him with the camera, calling him a weirdo. But the thing is, we're the weirdos. This guy isn't a weirdo. Is he a weirdo? Mike Hunt? Hey, I don't like that name. I know what you're trying to get me to say. I'm not gonna say it. Mike, pause, space, Hunt. I'm not gonna say that because say it really quickly to yourself and then tell me what it says. I like that she's calling us a weirdo though, kind of makes me feel nice. Yeah, I am a weirdo. I don't fit in. And I don't want to fit in. Have you ever seen me without this stupid hat on? I'm not wearing a hat. That's weird. But enough of Summer Camp Girl. Let's let's move on. Let's let her do her fucking ropes course whenever she wants. I'm not gonna get in her business. I'm just gonna hang out with her boyfriend and be the first person to ever truly just listen. <laughs> Sorry. But first, real quick, before we get into the rest of all this, Cooper, can you thank the sponsor of today's video? Yes, of course, Cooper. Thank you to Spotify for sponsoring this video, specifically talking about audiobooks in premium. We all love Spotify. Spotify is the best place, period. But now you can actually listen to audiobooks with your Spotify premium subscription. And it's great, because these are like the books that you actually actually would really be interested in hearing. And I know a lot of the time, listen, you're on a road trip, you put on your Spotify, you put on a playlist, and you can get in this rut of you're just like listening to the music. But now you have the opportunity within Spotify to just switch over to an audiobook. Because I love listening to podcasts and music and audiobooks on a road trip, and they're all in Spotify, and it makes it so much easier. And if I'm recommending a book right now, me personally, The Woman in Me by Britney Spears, it's included with the audiobooks and premium. It's narrated by Michelle Williams, and with this, you're actually hearing her story from her perspective, and it's just, it's so good. Like, there is a reason there's so much hype about it and so many people are talking about it and you can so easily go and listen to it with audiobooks and premium. I highly recommend it. I think Spotify is phenomenal for having everything. Really, it's like the one app to go to for all of your audio listening needs. I mean that. I truly mean that. The quality's nice. It's crisp. It's perfect. It's everything that you want in an audiobook. So thank you so much to Spotify and audiobooks and premium. Now, Cooper, what, you, what were you talking about? <laughs> Amelia, I know. Dude, I knew it. You cannot drink those in the, you can't open that in the store, bro. I don't care them was, they look so damn good. It doesn't matter if they look damn good. It doesn't mean you get to open them in the store. I have to pay for them. Who cares? Honestly, Amelia, honest. Wait, if I finish this video and the comments on Reddit are really negative, Sorry, I can't say that. I'm going to Manhattan Project them. <laughs> Cause Amelia is the main character. Like there's so many times where it's, oh, they're the main character and it's like, they're just being annoying and trying to get a bunch of attention. Amelia is the main character. Yeah, she's drinking it. It tastes good. What's wrong with that? Let her cook, let her cook. This is bullshit. No, it's not. Yes, it is. What, that they look so good? Yeah, I can drink them if I want. I gotta pay for them first, Amelia. No, you do not. Hey, man, Amelia, absolutely. That is bullshit. If it looks so good, why can't I have it right now? I'm gonna buy it later. I'm going to buy it later. Let me have it right now. It looks so good. Let me crack open the little tinfoil and sip it. It's fine. Nobody's gonna get hurt. Nobody's gonna know anything. It's gonna be all right. She's literally perfectly right in this situation. And if I go to the comments and they're negative, I'm gonna I can't say that either. I'm going to 
Uh, whatever. Tired of getting my videos age-restricted, y'all. I'm sick and tired of it. I made a really funny video about the TikTok villain, and it got age-restricted because I said too many cuss words at him? I don't even know why! YouTube, more like Tube. I'm really grateful for YouTube, actually. Thank you so much for subscribing to my videos. Do you want to subscribe? Also, you can get my necklaces on weirdothinks.com. I love you so much. <laughs> Excuse me, shitty parent. Excuse me, that's pretty wild. You would willingly post your kid being like that. Excuse me, video shitty kid, reality shitty parent. Excuse me. The worst thing is the parent probably told the kid to do this so she could post it online. Whatever. Amelia didn't need any direction. Amelia is a queen on her own, right? To put it politely, this girl's mom is a C U N T. Oh my god, that kid is gonna top out at 450. How about I literally a future degenerate in the making? Child obesity is child abuse. Oh my god. I'm sorry. If you are looking at this video of Amelia drinking a small one dollar and twenty five cents Danimals little cup and you go wow what a little piece of shit she's being charming in this she's being funny she's being silly she's being a girl what Can people can't be girls anymore by the way she's a kid why are you talking about her body she's a literal kid shut shut up <laughs> i knew it you cannot drink those and this you can't open that in the store bro i don't care the ones they look so damn good the fact that you could see that clip and think anything negative about it means that your brain is rotted i don't care why do they make them look so damn good <laughs> like i'm sorry to all the reddit boys who are seeing this 11 year old girl and realizing that she has more charisma and more intrigue than they will ever have in their entire lives? In one pinky finger, she's more interesting than any of those people in the comments will ever be, ever. If you think that this is bad and not just like a little girl being funny, there's something, whatever, whatever. I am incensed. Let's go next, let's go next. <laughs> Okay, what are the comments on this one? This self-entitled sickness is getting worse. We had a girl rolling around in our garden taking selfies. She destroyed multiple plants and didn't give a shit. Okay, that girl's bad. This girl's just doing that in the subway. By the way, this girl's doing that in the subway, not getting mad at anybody else. By the way, also not doing anything actually wrong. She's just being like, she's not being small and making sure that nobody can see her, but she is not making it really anybody else's problem. She's being like, okay, I can see why this could be annoying. But also, have you seen the videos of Tube Girl? Like, this is a trend. This is, this is a thing that people are doing and the videos look cool and it's not actually ruining anybody's day like you're just on the subway what's wrong with a girl filming a video doing this she's not yelling at anybody to get out of the way like i understand if it's the vibe of everybody move out of the way i need to film a video that is annoying but she's just doing it like i get that it's in public but also you know what else happens in public people doing like fucking jungle gym moves in the subway like that happens eric andre pouring cereal in his cup and then saying milk me milk me baptize me but that's funny because it's, I don't know. It is funny, but I don't know like why a girl doing this for her own thing is so bad. But Eric Andre or like a comedian doing it, well, it's so funny though. Like what's the actual difference for like the people who are in the background of this video, in this video and in like the Impractical Jokers videos where they're, you know, the, the, like prank show videos where people are like messing with people in public and it's like, accepted and everybody culturally accepts it as like really funny stuff like that's okay but a girl filming herself in a subway and not actually making it anybody's problem and then being like oh it's just a prank like that's so bad i don't i don't get it, it feels like these people just hate girls also who's watching this shit thinking omg oh, she's so cool uh literally everybody who's watching the video like she's not doing it for the people in the subway she's doing it in spite of the self-conscious feeling that you would have when you're filming in front of people but but like look at this this is tube girl there are so many videos that are getting millions of likes and views, like tens of millions of views, where everybody's commenting that it's so cool because it does look cool, look. Like she's, you know, she's doing it. It's And like, is this actually destroying anybody's days? No. These are just Reddit boys who hate joy. We need a law against people who do that in a public space. So everybody's just supposed to sit there quietly and go like this. Well, in Japan, actually, that's how she, okay, okay. We're in America with Mark, Hugh, and Sal. And Joe, he's reconciling with his wife. Like if we live in a world where the impractical jokers can somehow be massive stars off of true fucking TV, then I think it's okay if a girl walks and silently lip syncs to a TikTok in a subway. I think that's okay. Sorry, I'm getting I'm getting a little bit annoyed because it's just like, sh 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 grow up. You obviously just hate women, grow up. I honestly don't know how these people even have the balls to do this and why it's not legal to smack these people in the back of the head. Okay, well, if you smacked Sal in the back of the head, everybody in the entire planet Earth would destroy you. So it seems like you just want to slap a girl in the back of the head because she looks pretty and she doesn't love you. That's just my opinion. That's my opinion. <laughs>
If I see anyone doing this in public, I'm getting in the shop and interrupting ASAP. These kinds of videos have people saying sh like queen energy in the comments. Please colonize another planet, please. Uh, you know who'd be the main character there? You, you dumbass. Shut up. You're just negative and you're sad and you hate to see a girl happy in a subway, living her life, slip sing into a music video. Grow up. It's a sickness. You're a sickness. Shut up. <laughs> so as soon as we find out who you are, trust you will be dealt with. I'm sorry, I asked the girl in pink to please move over so I can get a video and she said no lol. And the video that we're looking at here is making fun of the girl who's trying to get the really cinematic aesthetic picture. I'm gonna be honest, it's a very reasonable ask to say, hey, could you like move over here while I get this picture? Like, I think it's gonna be really cool. That's not that big of a deal. It's totally fine. I wouldn't do it, I'm too scared. I don't like being seen in public is the thing. Like me from the Midwest, my just general like, I just don't, I just want to blend in. I just want to be calm. I just want like, I don't want to be taking up any space or making anybody like pay attention to me. Like, I don't want that, not in public. But I can recognize that even if I would be too terrified to ask for somebody to move while I take a video, that it's not that wild to ask for. And just saying no is kind of the main character thing to do where it's like, mm, actually, no, actually, no, you can't. Actually, if you want to take that video, I'm gonna have to be in the front of it the whole time blocking everything and taking up all the focus. So yeah, it's actually you. But also we don't know how it went. Maybe the girl who was taking this video was like being really annoying. I, I don't know. <laughs> But when you look at these comments, it's just absolutely absurd. I hope woman in pink knows she's been threatened and is taking appropriate precautions. Speaker sounds unhinged. Okay. She's been threatened. She's been threatened. Can you grow up? How sad is it that everything you see becomes a, wow, that's a great aesthetic for a video. So you get 20 likes from strangers. I, like, I don't understand. It's just like a cool video. What's wrong with taking a cool video? Like, I don't get it. That's just how people's brains work. It's just like, hey, I would like to capture this moment. And then for the next two hours that we're here, just be chilling, relaxing. But like the assumption after seeing a five second video that this woman is a terrible, terrible person, it's just just a little bit. Can we not go into this with a little bit more of a charitable mindset? It makes me think they're asking someone, can you stop doing what you want to do so I can do what I want to do instead? Okay, you can say that, but then can you never ask a stranger to take a picture of you in public? Because that's like a very common thing. I can't tell you how many times someone's been like, hey, sorry, can you take a picture of me real quick, me and my girlfriend? And my response isn't, no, what? So you want me to stop doing what I'm doing so that you can do whatever you're doing because the whole world revolves around you? No, what I do is I go, oh, sure. And then I take 15 pictures of them because what, 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 literally who cares? Put yourself in this situation. If you think that the girl who's trying to get the video is in the wrong, let me put you in this situation. If somebody came up to you and said, hey, I'm trying to film a video really quickly, but you're in the shot a little bit. Is there any way that you could like take a couple steps in the front so that I could get this video really quickly? I'm so sorry. If somebody came up and asked you that, you realize it would be very selfish and rude to say, no. And then just stand there and I'm, you're the bad person there. Do you not see that? Like life is not that serious. You can just move three steps to the side and let somebody live their happy life. Like you can let people be happy. It's okay. You don't have to be bitter and then make everybody else's life like a worse because of it. Again, me personally, I would never ask somebody, hey, can you move out of the way for this picture I want to take? I would never ask that. I am being excessively charitable to this woman. Maybe she didn't ask it in that way. Maybe she didn't even ask. And now she's taking this video just to make this girl Look bad. I don't know, but neither do these guys in the Reddit comments. Everybody's coming into this with the same amount of information and they're choosing to just decide that she's the worst person ever because she wanted to take a video and she asked a girl to take two steps over. And the girl saying no is like, ha, stick it to those girl influencers. Come on, man. <laughs>yeah you know what okay yeah this is one of the situations where it's just bad this is bad sorry i can't have empathy for bro i don't think you can do that i don't think you should do that i think taking your shirt off and then flexing on a little luggage turns off by the way what am i gonna do call the cops no but that is annoying i'm sorry it is annoying i'm sorry it's so annoying don't get mad at me i'm annoyed by it and i'm with the reddit comments on this one i hope oh my god if they're saying he's okay i'm gonna scream pants him and let him get an indecent exposure chart hey rare reddit win wow <laughs>that's the entire video. This idiot again? What? Four guards patrol at 2 p.m., 6 p.m., loosely geared? Oh, that's funny. Like, she's writing down notes like she's gonna do a heist. That's funny. I've seen this Katy Perry cosplayer at least five times here. What's her point anyway? Oh, look at me. I'm a Lolita, but I can think and write and be philosophical. What? Oh my god. What? Why are you adding so much to her? She literally was in a museum 
leaned on a wall and did this a little bit while she's wearing a cool outfit and had nice music playing in the background. What are you talking about? That's so cringe. What does she think she's trying to look like? I don't know, a cool person who's in a museum, who's like fancy, that like elegant. That's what she's looked trying. Why is that such a problem? She's so deep. God, I hope so. I hate men. Here's the thing, I'm a man. There are some men here who are watching right now. By the way, men go crazy in those comments. Put those fingers on those keyboards. They go absolutely wild, men. This is men day, but not those men day. Men who look at Reddit comments and go, ah, day. Yeah, that, that, that's what we're going for. Men, go wild. Comment your sexuality. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, but for real, the people who are commenting stuff like this, that's like disgusting. Well, what's wrong with you? She literally is doing an 11 second video where she's taking notes in a museum while she's wearing a nice outfit. And that's bad. Oh, and that's terrible. Oh, oh, and she sucks. No, you know who sucks? Girl in the first video who was yelling and attacking that guy and all of the commenters in that little girl Amelia's video. Those are the worst people on earth. Along with these two gentlemen. She's so deep. God, I hope so. How about you literally go f It's literally just guys who hate women because they can't. Get them. Oh my God, is that what an incel is? Oh my God, you're an incel. Oh my God. Wait, is that a new idea? Redditors are incels? Oh my God, I never thought about that. What a novel thought. God, I hate these stupid dudes. But I like other dudes. I like other dudes. A lot of my friends are dudes and they're really cool, nice people. I was talking to my friend Ben about this too recently, where it's like, I grew up and I was like, I don't know, surrounded by generally like really kind, nice people. But then you hit like the end of high school, you move out, you go to college, and all of a sudden you start seeing that like, whoa, there are some doofuses out there. And at first you're like, oh, okay, but that can't be all of them. That's not, that's not all of them. Turns out it's a lot of them and you just got really lucky with your friends when you were growing up. That's my story. Not to brag, I got so many childhood friends who were guys. <laughs> There's nice gentlemen out there, but good God, you hit 18 years old and all of a sudden it's hard to find new ones. This is absurd. It's absolutely absurd. And I hope you agree with me on this. I like some of these people are definitely in the wrong, but a majority of them, like, you know what I mean? It's not so cut and dry as like, oh, you want attention. You are the worst person on earth. I think there's a little bit of that. There's definitely a little bit of that. But I also do think it's okay to be happy. It is, it is. Hey, and if your happiness isn't making other people unhappy, then I think that it's okay. Yeah. If you want to film a really pretty video and you ask somebody, hey, could you just move two steps to the side real quick while I film this? And then they say no. It's okay to be like, well, that was rude. Not me personally. I'm not posting the video calling that person out. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. Like, I'm not one of these types of people, but I can have empathy and see them for who they are as like real people who are just happy and trying to live their life joyously. And in addition, if you are a guy who sees an 11 year old girl drinking a Danimals Crush Cup going, that's bullshit. I want I want this damn shit right now. And you call her a shithead, then you are the real shithead. And that's my opinion. Please subscribe, weirdos. I love you so much. It's so frustrating. I fully was not expecting the video to go this way. I was totally prepared for it to all be a bunch of people like the first girl, who were just like crazy people going crazy, doing crazy things. But honestly, a lot of it's overblown. Like a lot of it's really overblown. And I personally think that, I don't know. I don't know. I like, I like sipping juices. I like having crackers with sorts of toppings on it. Some cheeses, some meat, meats and cheeses mixed together, get it hot, put some salsa, get some avocado 